Greetings, Sonic ladies and gentlemen. 3D Blast. 3D we are at the finale. Blast. We return. With Gene Gadget. Oh boy. Is it this point in the game where if you haven't collected all seven Chaos Emeralds, well, you're not going to. Because we're at the final set of Beats. levels for this game. Beats. Gene Gadget isn't necessarily the final set of stages, but it, it's right before it, so... These beats. <laughs> yeah, it, it's this stuff that makes it, it actually reminds me so much of Sonic R at this point. I mean, listen to this. Yeah. The Euro. Euro pop, I believe it is. Or, I don't know music genres. Uh. I don't. I don't care! I think it sounds good. So do I. So, um, it's like these roads were made for me. Yeah. That's gonna be stuck in my fucking head now just because... You watched that? Yeah, it's one time. Oh yeah, I should mention... <laughs> apart from the whole you can't see the shield things, the blue shield has an effect that hasn't been necessarily... that hasn't been able to employ up until this level. Specifically, it's an electric-based shield. Gives you immunity to the zap zap, and uh, yeah. you can't see it, so once again it was kind of weird. Uh -huh. It's just like I'm walking around getting zapped. It's Tuesday for me. Woo. We're good. Then a Thursday and probably a Saturday. Uh, Not uh, Sunday, though. Uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday, is, Sunday is my night off. Uh, oh no. Why are these here? Oh no. Oh boy. This okay, Flicky's around on the fans now. Uh, oh god, come here. Oh, come here. The pink ones are pretty cooperative, but uh oh. green ones and the red ones. And you ones can't see you can't even see its drop shadow on that mess. Oh, well, everything's uh, moving. Come here. There. There. Fuck. Oh, and here's the worst part, is you actually have to maneuver so that you can hit this thing without the fans coming on underneath you. See? Fucking stupid things. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my god. And these red flickies don't know when to stop it. And there's I'm missing one. one. Where is it? It's over there in the corner. Hi! Get all the way over there! Cause it's a dumbass! Cause yeah. it's fat! You know, the green ones are always the dances of the groups. Ugh. Oh yeah, where's a green jacket? <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna play that game. Oh god, no. I mean, I loved your editing for that guy, because <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious to hear him running around with that head thing. <laughs> and whatnot, but in terms of actually playing that, doing a playthrough of that game, just god no. Oh, jeez. And I liked your editing for a lot of other things, but in general, I think you go overboard with it too much. Generally speaking, yeah. It's just like you're a good editor, but I think you put a little too much effort into it. Which is why you never get anything done. True. And if I do, do get around to doing that again, you don't need people don't even know what we're talking about. They probably presume we're talking about an actual Ed and Eddie game. Uh, well, that's another thing, because we got a couple of them. One no, for the, the Game Boy uh, Advance and one for the PlayStation 2. I didn't really... Uh, I, I thought they were funny, but, you know, the Raws were so full of memes that they weren't even really that good for talking over. It's yeah. like, it, it was just one of those things, I did, I, when I was ma putting it together, I wasn't like even thinking about the fact that we have to talk over this, so I was just like, anywhere where there was dead space, you know, walking around, I was just like, memes. Mm. 
Yeah, but that's uh, I did a freaking. If we could ever mentos. find the Raws to those videos, we have I'd them like on to... the old Raws channel that we don't use. No, I mean the original Raws. Oh, like the one, the ones that we used to put on DVDs. No, I mean the original video files that you made of those. Uh, oh, I don't. Do those know. be on that laptop? I think they were probably lost when I had to format that thing. Because otherwise they'd be on my portable drive. Ah. Uh, and I don't think they're in there. But I, I would rather do it over again anyway, maybe actually knowing what I'm doing next time. I'm, I'm just remembering, uh, now that I think about it, something smells good. Mm. Old Spike, bottom back of water wash. Old block of water wash. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> but, you know, that was during my days where I, I kind of felt like making YouTube poops, but I never actually got around to making those either. So, when I went to go and edit that, I was just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Wait, I lost the flicky. Oh. Damn it, I have to go fucking around again! Um, but if I ever feel like... <laughs> well, the thing is, I've been thinking for at least for the longest time, at least when we do live Let's Plays, I want to see what you can do as the edit... Oh, God. I have to turn around! Because I want to make you the editor for our live Let's Plays, just to see that if you see if you can see you do it and give you something to do. What the fuck is going on here? Or is it? What? Fucking what? stupid thing popped out of nowhere. But yeah, I need. I, I figure if we divide work efforts, things might get done faster. Although I'm not sure with your editing techniques. Well, if I was to do it on my computer, it would probably go faster, but I don't have my computer set up to edit those fucking files. And first of all, it seems like it doesn't even want to do it on any computer than the one that you use the Elgato with. Well, that's because I have to have a very specific version of QuickTime installed in order for the plugin to work, and God damn it! Chaos Control! <laughs> <laughs> Level is a bit frustrating. Imagine if I did Haunting Ground live. Woo! Of course, no. Joel's doing that, so. I think that's a better stream game than it is a live Let's Play game. Hey, you're right. We should consider actually streaming, you know, if we had any people who would show up. Mm -mm. Oh. First of all, we need a connection that was good for that. I can't stream on my computer because I have a remote. Cause I, I'm wireless. You're the I, only one with a wire. I seem to be able to stream perfectly fine from my. You have so, a yeah. wire. That's why. Yeah. I, I don't know how to get one to your room unless I put it up through the vent on the ceiling. Just duct tape the wire to the well, ceiling. Well, unless we do what we did with yours and have it duct tape along the wall here, back around the back of the thing here. And all the way into your room. We're white trash. We don't. We don't. We don't uh, install new uh, wiring throughout the house when we need it. <clears throat> okay, we're not white trash, but we are poor lower class people. We're, we don't want to tear out, tear apart our walls just to put in like wife, wife, just to put in router wires and shit for hard wires, for hardware and stuff. But you know. That's what you have to live with, and to be honest, I... The router only... has to be in the most central room of the house so it can reach everyone, but if it's in the most central room of the house, then it can't be in my room, or it can't be in Vincent's room. Right. So yeah, I guess I'll just get a really long cable again. Again. But this one will have to be even longer, and I may have to find some sort of a splitter so I can get... Get it to you and Vince's room. Well, if you split it, then it would probably divide the signal even further. What? Oh, shit, I wasn't I also have to edit that out, because you said his name. 
I don't, know, I don't know why he's so sensitive about that. Well, he is what he is. The biggest irritation in our life. I don't put it. I know. I, 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 even though he can be irritating a lot of the time, there are things. That I know like bros that. before hoes and whatnot, and I, I do like you're. You're my. You're probably. The only well, reason well, I care about well, him well, either well, is just like I like I, you're my brother and I like you. Him though, I don't think I want to ever be near ever again if I could help it. Personally, I know that's wrong, but <sighs> oh my god, he grades on me so much. Oh, here's another boss that I used to not like for some reason, but he's. Not that bad. You know, people don't know what it's like. Well, unless they actually live with an autis autistic brother or sibling. Or significant other who is autistic. Or a roommate. Or... It would probably be easier to feel bad about it if it wasn't... Well, I mean, he's a high-functioning autistic. That, in my opinion, that, al that almost... Kind of what makes it worse in That's a way what because makes it worse in a way. it's like you're talking to someone who seems like he's like you, but you have to remember he's not. It's it's hard. It is so hard. It doesn't help that he's OCD as well. Yeah, that I think that's what's worse actually is that his OCD is made. He, his autism accentuates it, and vice versa. Probably should be talking about this shit. He, it bothers him just that we talk about him. It bothers him that we even mentioned his name, which is why it got brought up in the first place. Because I'm gonna have to edit his name out. In every instance that we have to edit, his, his name is brought up to be edited out. Got through Act 3. But this video isn't over yet. I decided to also include. Panic Puppet! Ah, yeah, this is... You get this for... Uh, I love this music. Th this is the best music track in the entire game, to my... As far as I'm concerned. I love this shit. And, you know, it's actually uh, the original version of Panic Puppet, which is used in the first half of Twi uh, Twinkle Park and Sonic Adventure. And that's the only reason I remember it. And, to be honest, compared to this... I mean, it's a decent tune, but I compare it to this, and I'm like... No, no, this is, I, I love this. This, this pumps my fucking blood. No, this, it's good. This is blood pumping. I still don't know if it necessarily feels, feels a little out of place because of how boring. Because it's this, this, this game, this game. Also, you may have noticed that uh, I already have a flicky, but I haven't necessarily, I didn't get it out of an enemy robot. Yeah, we've reached the point where Eggman has uh, gotten... We've caught up to him, finally. He hasn't managed to put Flickies in the robots yet. They're inside these containers all around the stage. Hmm. Okay. And it, is it, this stage is only accessible if you have all the Chaos Emblems? No, th this, the, the Panic Puppet stages are accessible no matter if you have all the Emblems or not. Ah. It's the final boss that isn't accessible unless you have all the Chaos Emblems. By the way, there's no Super Sonic in this game either. So, again, they predict... They, st they start a good precedent for 3D Sonic, haven't they? Yeah. I'm sh have we already mentioned in the past just how that's the shittiest part of Sonic Generations? Because you can't freaking use so uh, Super, Super Sonic, Sonic in fall stages. Yeah. 
that is the last Sonic game we're going to tackle in this marathon. I'm just, I, I'm probably just gonna keep repeating that throughout this, throughout this, throughout this whole ordeal. You know what's shitty about Sonic Generations? You can't use Super Sonic in boss stages, which would have been nice for like say the the one chaos, where, you know, perfect chaos, perfect chaos. The battle where you're supposed to be supersonic? Yes. <sighs> and again, for reasons... We'll get to that when we get to it. I'm still not sure if I want to play the PC version for that or not. It's like, I kind of, for Sonic Generations, I don't kind of want that to be the grand finale of all the Sonic stuff. As a result, I want to have it be the highest quality that we've ever put out on this channel yet. Oh yeah. No more flickies left. It's time to just find Robotnik and face off with him. Which means, run to the end. Is it a relatively straightforward stage? Pretty much. <laughs> not really much point in actually trying to explore it. Why? You're not looking for flippies anymore. You can't get chaos in like anymore. What the fuck? What? Oh, oh man! Ah. <laughs> a giant Eggman! And there's a hole in that you're supposed to go in his nose. <laughs> oh. well, better that than his butt, I suppose. People have been sitting on those rides! With their butts! Alright, lick them! But don't say I didn't warn you! Uh, I think we've already done Sonic Color, so I'd have to do that one again. People say, like, Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations. Again, I, I said before that my problem with modern 3D Sonic games is that they're not really encouraging to be explorative. They're just straight to pop and bop platforms with oh. speed. Yeah, we're done. That's, That's it. how quickly a stage gets done when you're not searching for flickies all the time. Minute 30. There we go. Now, if you didn't have all the Chaos Emeralds, this would be the final boss. Dr. Eggman comes down from the tube and he's gonna smack you. Did he just attack the arms whenever they're down? Is that yeah, it? that's pretty much it. What is that noise? What is with that noise? I don't know. I'm, I'm not the sound effect composer. Ah. What Jesus. Was that noise. Ear rape. He uses various abilities from some of the other bosses, so it's like. This video had some audio desync too. Damn it. I don't know why when I recorded this, this had a lot of audio desync. It's not very significant, but still. Bouncy flame bouncer things. <laughs> if I can uh, just keep jumping over here, eventually he'll stop. 
Okay, that's one arm broken. <laughs> and now this arm can't launch off anything because I keep hitting it. <laughs> Did the music stop? Yeah, it's CD audio music, so it doesn't really loop the way it should. But yeah, um, that would have been the final boss if we hadn't gotten all the Chaos Emeralds. But since we do... There's one more thing to do. Oh, this. This thing. What is this? Where are we? I don't know. A place. It's just... I... Strange geometry and things. Yeah, I don't know. This probably is the, the most hands. abstract, incomplete mess of a place Eggman has right now. Uh. Oh. This audio desync is bothering me now. I, I, it shouldn't. Since it's not that significant, god damn it, I hate when that happens! Ooh. I. hmm. Alright. This is just so peculiar. Missiles away! Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, great, another one of these fucking bouncy ball balls, shit, bullshitters. Oh. Did, did Eggman invert his head? What the heck? Oh. How does it do that? It's, um, hmm. How does he okay, mean? we're gonna have to do this all over again. Is his primary is window the start. stomach? I don't know. It's hard to tell with Mr. Narcissism. The fact that this thing has his nose and mustache on it. Are you having to do it over again because you didn't hit him every time? No, you have to do this twice because you have to. Okay. Just like they couldn't think of more phases, so let's just, uh, let's have him circle around and do it again. It's an endurance match. Uh -huh. Yeah, I also like the remix to final boss music here. Very sinister with that laugh. Damn it. Oh, this is the uh, flight march. It's, yeah, it's hard to tell when you hit him because it uh, doesn't uh, flash. Yeah. Because of the damn frame rate issue. This probably would be a sound though, but I can't necessarily hear the uh, sound either. Usually it's kinda, because out everything by that. else is making so much. <laughs> I figured it out. All I have to do is stand here. I don't even have to jump. Good job. And that's it! Eggman is defeated! Yes! It's over. I won! Yeah! So we got the final boss! Woo! And here is the ending that we get! Uh. 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 
Wait, that's it? It's one little mountain? I thought there was more to it than that. Uh... And that's it! Hmm. That's all. And it ends with... a beautiful piano piece with perhaps a, a lyrical composition that is a little bit ridiculous for Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, mm. nowhere near as ridiculous as stuff from Sonic R, but... Well, they're both made by Traveler's Tales. I still love this piece, too. But yeah, that's it for Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Saturn. Uh, final thoughts. I've said... It, I haven't had much time to say this, but I have already pretty much said what I think about this game. To be perfectly frank... It's a fairly serviceable, isometric platformer thing game. But in terms of being that good, especially for a Sonic the Hedgehog title... No. <laughs> Not that fun. Not that fun. E except for the special stages, which are alright in, in this version of the game. In this version. And the music, I, I, I've stated over and over how much I love the tunes from this game, and I still think it's better than a Genesis version by a landslide, aside from those uh, two little tunes that were actually taken and reused in Sonic Adventure 2, and I only remember them because they're in Sonic Adventure. Did he knock off one of... He's knocked off... His cat just knocked the coin off the, cat, off the TV stand. Okay. I thought he took one of the rings off the thing. Nah. The cat stealing the, the secret rings. Whoa. Why, why are you snooping so much all of a sudden? Because uh, it's different. We moved the table back to where it belongs. <laughs> Except that there's a laptop here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna come step on the keys? He better not. Nope, he jumped down. Anyway. Not a Sonic game that I would revisit very often, but for the soundtrack of this game, I would. Yeah. I would probably listen to the soundtrack first and play the game. If I had to play the game, I would play it with the, the soundtrack that comes with this version. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Hmm. That aside... You have anything to add? Aside from that, can't hear that with the microphone. But um, it's it's bland and boring. Except with music, that's pretty nice. There's Sonic. That's his opinion. You could probably make a better Sonic model in Blender. Oh. The end. <laughs> So with all that said, thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We continue next time in the Sonic the Hedgehog Marathon with <sighs> Sonic Spinball. <laughs> so Woo! <laughs> until then, Woo! thank you absolutely everyone for watching. Remember to RCF and S and out. <laughs>